Isn't Welcome it cool? back, nasty bugs, oh, bacteria. Now, David, of course, we trust you absolutely implicitly, but when it comes to, to books, to references of various sorts, sometimes it really does need to be buyer beware. Sometimes false entries can weasel their way into our databases, and uh, one such entry was uh, Lillian Virginia Mount Weasel, and uh, this is too good. She's recorded in the Oh, no! A church a problem! She was a Start. remarkable fountain designer. Maybe and, something's uh, wrong with the engine. She was also renowned for a photo collection of uh, American mailboxes. But sadly... <laughs> according, according to the encyclopedia. According to the encyclopedia. What, what a fascinating woman. Sadly, she passed away when she was uh, covering a story for Combustibles magazine when she was uh, imploded by fireworks. <laughs> and as a result of this, she now lies in a grave in Bangs, Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> you know, nobody twigged to this. <laughs> If you're smelling a rat, you'd be right to do so. I, I'm getting a waft of rodent very clearly here. Because Mount Weasel is now a word for a bogus entry in any database, dictionary, encyclopedia. Mm, it may be a false number in a directory. Don't. It may be a false street in a directory. And this actually protects against illegal copying. Oh, so that deliberate insertion of something that's not correct. That's exactly right. You do need to be aware, obviously, of any entry that you read, that it's not uh, a unique entry in that book alone, because, in fact, it may be a Mount Weasel. Very interesting protection. David, thank you very much indeed. Now let's have a look at the scores, and Rolly is on 11, Everything Yolanda seems to be is working. on 18, as we move into our again. next letter game. And this time, Yolanda, it's uh, your turn to make a selection. Thanks, Richard. Lily, can I have a consonant to start with? You can, thank you, Yolanda. Let's start with a D. And another Perhaps vowel, Perhaps it's please. not the engine. Maybe my tractor's out of gas. A. Let's go and fill um, it up. Consonant. S. And a vowel, please. E. And another vowel, please, Lily. I and consonant. My tractor's full of gas now. N and another vowel, please. I and a consonant, please, Lily. L and I'll round it off with another consonant, please. And finally, Z. Thank you, Lily. 30 seconds. Final Z, but uh, how did you go? Well, I no. managed to get seven. Seven? That's very nice, Rolly. I only managed five. Richard. What was your five? No, Slide. Stopped. And your seven? Denials. Denials. Very nice. A beautiful word. Well done, Yolanda, for seven. And uh, I found a um, a word that uh, is no reflection on you at all, uh, Richard. I, I always, in the I would never you say that. I always stopped. embrace myself. <laughs> I'm not sure what's coming. Go well, on. we did have slime bag, if you recall, from a few weeks ago. Oh, yeah, yes, yes, I do remember that, actually. Yes, thank and you. And a synonym for a slime bag or a despicable person is a sleezoid. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Thanks, David. <laughs> Seven points to Yolanda. Let's go on to some more letters now, and this time, Rolly, would you choose some for us, please? Thanks, Richard. Uh, Lily, may I start with a vowel, please? You can. Uh, Thanks, Rolly. Starting with an A. And another vowel, please. Down. A. And a consonant, please. N. And another consonant, please. P. And a vowel, please. O. And another vowel, please. U. A consonant, please. C. Another consonant, please. One more time. S. And we'll finish off with a consonant. Thank you. And finally, <laughs> T. Thank you, Lily. Here's the clock. It's not the engine. Maybe my tractor's out of petrol. Seven this time, Richard. Very nice. What about you, Yolanda? Seven as well. 
We like these equal sevens. Great play. What was your seven, Yolanda? Pounces. And Rolly? Pounces. Oh, well, could you uh, compare to verify, please? Yes, it looks good. So, uh, a double pounce. Well, pounce, the lovely seven, and the one that I had banked early, thinking that could be the best. <laughs> but then there's a compound word in there that is also quite lovely, and it's capstone. Uh, so another, what is a capstone? It's another word for coping, I understand, but not in the psychological sense, but more in the masonry sense. It's the uh, part of the brick or a stone work that runs along the top of the wall. Oh, very nice, a good eight-point word. So, seven points each for Dolly and Yolanda. Let's leave the letters for a little while now and mix with the numbers once again. Yolanda, what would you like this time? Lily, can I have three large numbers and three small numbers, please? Three large and three small. Thank you, Yolanda. And our numbers are seven, nine, five, and fifty, a hundred and seventy-five, and the target treat five hundred and six. Let's head there now. How close did you get? I only got 502. Four off the target. Rolly? Uh, 507, Richard. One. Just one away. Yeah. So uh, take us through your method first, please. Sure. Uh, Lily, it was five times 100 equals 500. Five by 100 is 500. Plus seven equals 507. Plus seven, 507. Uh, just one off the target. Can you take us that one bit closer, Lily? Yes. Now, what Rolly could have done to get that remaining six here is actually times 9 by 50, which gives you 450, and 450 d divided by 75 is 6, so uh, you can get that 6 and add it on. And there you have 506. Very nicely done, Lily. But well done to Rolly. That's 7 points, bringing the score to 25 for Rolly, 32 for Yolanda. It's a close competition. Let's head into our next break. That's another word mix, and this time it's scary... Ten. And the clue, a familiar type of tree. See you in a while.